Hi. You've been meaning to get into anime, but you can't take that leap of faith. I'm here to push you off that cliff. I'm Chris Lamb. Learn to fly on your way down. That is... <laughs> I was going back and forth on whether or not to recommend this show because I was worried it would be too obvious since everyone who knows this anime knows this one. This is the Naruto of our generation. Just saying that made me feel old though. But it makes sense for My Hero Academia to be featured because there is a reason why this is the anime right now. I would call the story by Kohei Hirokoshi very much like X-Men, just with a lighter color palette and society doesn't think they're abominations. I'm sorry. So for those of you who still don't know what the hype is all about, My Hero Academia takes place in a world where having superpowers or quirks is not that rare. In fact, being a hero is considered a normal occupation. Gotta wonder if you get benefits though. The thing is that our main character is a guy who has no quirk. You know the background guy that shows up like 5% of the time as the regular no powers friend? Yeah, it's this guy, Izuku. And lucky for him, he happens upon the top superhero in the world, his idol, All Might, and he decides to gift Izuku with his own powers. It turns out that All Might's quirk is able to be passed down. But thankfully, Izuku doesn't just become the best superhero, nor does he get better with just a training montage. His new powers are currently too strong for Izuku's body, so he has to slowly learn how to control it. People gravitate towards this anime because it's accessible as an action-packed superhero show, like we're all used to, but it has enough of a twist in Izuku to feel fresh and current. Izuku is not a typical mediocre, delinquent, aloof, macho kid that is able to succeed by just determination and the power of friendship. Not to call out Naruto and Bleach, but to call them out. Izuku is a nervous kid, awkward around girls, mumbles himself a lot, loves comic books, and has a disadvantage since people are usually born with the quirk. Relatable content, right? One of the biggest issues of mainstream action anime before My Hero Academia was the infinite power creep of main characters. Even if you don't know anime, it's a problem in various hero stories. Enemy stronger than hero beats hero. Hero trains really quick and gets stronger. New enemy comes and is stronger than the hero. Hero gains new ability, flash weapons, blah, 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 et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, until the studio stops making money from merch and the show becomes a joke. Kohei Hirokoshi clearly knows superhero stories very well, both what's good and what could be improved on. In fact, Kohei said at San Diego Comic-Con that Spider-Man is his favorite superhero, which you can definitely see the parallels between Peter Parker and Izuku. Anyways, I believe the lack of a typical power creep is the reason that this show exploded in the anime scene. I'll never forget the first moment that Izuku first uses his powers and breaks three of his limbs without realizing it. Yeah, that's how powerful his new quirk is. It was that moment that I realized, oh, Okay, this anime is taking risks and knows his genre. She came to play. That's when you realize that Izuku's desire to be a hero will be tested constantly and he will always have to work extra hard to learn how to use his new powers. My Hero Academia celebrates cheesy superhero shows while not cheapening the story by romanticizing what it means to be a hero. It's not just about having powers, it's about using them well and always being open to growing. And the best part of My Hero is that it's still running, so you can feel current and with the times and talk to people online about it. You can find it on Crunchyroll, Funimation, and Hulu. But that being said, please jump down in the comment section and let me know what you think about My Hero Academia. Make sure to follow Gamera across all of the socials, and I'll see you next time. Bye!